just think that, yeah, you know? So I'm amazing. I mean, the Pitch Perfect stands out there. They are just gags, quite frankly, that there is now a TV series and you're coming in and coming for Adam Devine's spot. Give us the tea. How much fun was this experience for you? Oh, it's so much fun. Uh, like, it's it's intimidating because obviously the show is so beloved by its stands and we are doing something so different with the show. Obviously, we are paying homage and paying tribute to the franchise, but put a fresh, like, modern take on Pitch Perfect. And we loved making it, but um, yeah, shitting my pants. <laughs> Understandably so. Now tell us a little bit about your character because you're kind of coming for the fame as well. You want to be the top dog at the end of the day. Yeah, I uh, I think it's really fun, especially because like Adam was kind of the bad guy and then Flula became the bad guy. And now I get to take over that mantle. And I, you know, I love playing a villain. You know, I love playing someone annoying. Comes very naturally to me. She has the sense of delusion of a mediocre white man. And I love seeing that in a brown woman. How dare she? She's so average and she thinks <laughs> so iconic and i think that that is one of my favorite things about her iconic to say the least i gotta tell you jamila when i saw the cast for this i really did think to myself jamila can sing and then when i saw the trailer i was like oh she sings yeah i mean look we're doing very deliberately basic kind of like eurovision pop singing whether i can dance or not remains uh in question but uh, i can slap my ass to the beat we know that now <laughs> <laughs> and you can do a little step touch. And that really goes a long way, honestly. Oh, for sure. I mean, yeah, we've all seen pop stars. It's like, I, I think I fit in with the worst of them. <laughs> yes. We had a lot of queer characters in this show. My character's trying to have sex with truly everyone. I think that the, what's cool about this show is that it doesn't make a big deal of that. It's very throwaway. It's very flippant. It's very natural and normal, which is how it should be. It's just a thing that is hyper-normalized so that when kids see it, they see it and they know it's not a big deal.